Hi everyone and welcome to a new Photo Exile video. I'm Kushido and today we are going to talk about what I think will be five of the best League Starter builds for the upcoming League. The first build is the Seismic Trap Exsanguinate Saboteur. It performed very well in the last League. It was one of the most played builds of the last League because of his damage, his bossing capabilities and his defense. In this patch they nerfed the away of Seismic Trap so it's more difficult to have the overlap effect but they didn't change the numeric value of the skill, so the damage output should be the same as the last league. Maybe you will have to invest a little bit more on Aoi to have the same overlap effect as the last league, but uh, overall the damage of the build should be nearly the same as the last league. Exsanguinate received a buff, but with the nerfs to the supporter gems for mine and traps, the overall damage should be similar to the last league, maybe slightly better. So at the end we will have a better mapping and a very similar bossing compared to the last league. As defensive mechanics uh, we will be using grace and determination, we will be having a lot of evasion and armor, we will be immune to freeze, ignite and shock and we also have a good amount of spell suppression, we can reach around 70-80 without any too much investment. I will be making a video guide for this build as soon as Path of Building is updated and I will link in the description the Lolcohol version of the Seismic Trap Exsanguinate Saboteur. He is a very talented player and if you want another take on the Seismic Trap Exsanguinate Saboteur you can check his video. Next one is Explosive Arrow Ballistas Elementalist. I need to thank Pasteron and Crunching Tuna because they worked together to come up with this amazing build. Basically, when you fire an explosive arrow, you attach a fuse into the enemy. After 1 second, the fuse explodes and deals fire damage. During these seconds, we can attach more fuses, up to 20, and the damage of the explosion will increase based on the amount of fuses we have attached. And this is perfect to scale ignite damage. The aim of the build is to reach 20 fuses as fast as possible, and we achieve that by using 6 ballistas. With the 3.17, Exploding Arrow got a 5% more damage with elements per fuse, and that's why we are doing an Ignite build. Also, Ignite got a 25% less damage, and combined with the Exploding Arrow bus, that means we will be doing less damage when we attach less than 8 fuses, and we will be doing more damage when we attach 8 or more fuses, up to 44% more damage at 20 fuses. This should not be a problem while mapping because we will be attaching 6 to 10 fuses anyway. Also, with Ignite Proliferation, the mapping should feel good. However, this is a big boost to bossing, and that's why this build should be very, very strong this league. Regarding the defensive mechanics, we will be playing a totem build, so the playstyle of totem is usually very, very safe. Also, beside that, we have a lot of evasion, armor, and we can reach up to 100% spell suppression. Since this build doesn't have that many life regen or leech, we will be have to invest a little bit on flask charges, and we have to use a life flask, and maybe also a mana flask. Again, thank you Pasteron and Crunching Tuna for coming up with this amazing build. I will link their video in the description so you can check them out. The next build is the Skeleton Mage's Necromancer. I will be making a video guide for this build as well. I played the melee version during the December events and I'm leaning towards this build for the league starter. I still have to decide, but I will be making the video guide anyways. Meanwhile, I will leave in the description the build guide Gazi TV made for 3.16 league. Since they didn't touch this build at all, that guide should be good for this league as well. This build was super strong in the past league and it didn't get nerfed at all. I think this will be the most played minion build of the league, at least in the beginning, and basically is based around one jewel, the Red Reckoning, that makes your skeletons turn into mage skeletons. This jewel will be pretty expensive in the beginning, I think it will be at least 40-50 chaos in the first few days, but uh, it's a common jewel, it should be going down pretty soon. The cool thing about this build is that you can play melee skeleton till you get the currency to offer the dead reckoning and then do the switch to skeleton mages. In a low budget scenario the melee version has more single target damage, meanwhile the mages version has more clearing speed for mapping. 
in the end game we play mage skeletons because we can scale the damage higher till we reach a point where the single target damage with the mage is higher compared to the melee version. Regarding the defensive mechanics, we are playing a minion build and the minion playstyle is very safe. We also have a lot of armor with determination, we have max block with uh, life on block. We can also get uh, shock immunity from tempest shield and we can easily get max chaos res with a few investment on the tree. Next one is the Jung Ruans Perfect Agony Nightblade Spectre Helix. This build may be one of the strongest league starter in my opinion. Basically it's a poison build and you scale a lot of damage thanks to the Nightblade plus Perfect Agony interaction. Nightblade is giving you elusive and crit multi and by scaling the elusive effect you increase the crit multi. Perfect Agony makes your crit multi apply as more damage over time at 50% of the value. By this interaction alone you can get about 180 more damage over time in a budget setup. I will leave a link in the description for the Jungle Rox video where he explains everything about this build. Regarding the defensive mechanics, this build is using Grace and Determination, Multi Shell, Elusive, and can reach the Spell Suppression cap pretty easily. He's pretty insane, he's super tanky, very high damage. This will be one of the strongest League Starter, I think. Next one is the Lightning Strike Rider. This is one of the most popular builds of the last league and it didn't get nerfed. Uh, I had a friend league starting with this build last league and he was able to clear everything without investing too much. Basically you are using Lightning Strike for clearing and Vol Lightning Strike to help you for bosses. Lightning Strike can hit twice if you position correctly so it's very very strong even on bosses. And uh, it uses the Nightblade plus Elusive combo to get high crit multi. You can easily reach a 700 plus crit multi with a budget gear. Regarding the defense, this build have high evasion thanks to Grace and the evasion gears. You can also easily get to the spell suppression caps thanks to the Raider Ascendancy. This build also have a good amount of life and a good amount of life leech. Uh, if you avoid the huge one eating abilities from bosses, you will feel pretty tanky. If you are interested in this build, Fuzzy Daxi made a very detailed video guide on his channel, I will leave a link in the description, you can check it out. This was the last build, but I think there are many more strong league starter. I feel like this league, the build diversity for league starter is very high. Let me mention a few more. So one I will be making a video guide for it is of course called Dot Occultist. I played it in the last league and I will be making an update for the build for this league. Another build is Spark or Arc plus Orb of Storm Crit Inquisitor. So earlier I was mentioning I wanted to try the Skeleton Mages and I'm, I'm undecided to league start with that. The other build I am undecided is Spark plus Orb of Storm. Spark looks amazing this league. I need to see how much uh, is good uh, Orb of Storm because if the single target uh, with Orb of Storm is high enough, I will probably be starting with the this build, Spark uh, Orb of Storm Crit Inquisitor. Another good build, good minion build, will be the Carrion Colemancer. It was very very strong in the last league and it didn't get touched that much. So uh, Carrion Golemancer will be strong and after that you can move into Stone Golemancer when you get the Primordial Harmony and Primordial Might. This league, uh, most of the minion players will be playing the Skeleton Mages so you will be finding easier the Primordial Might and Harmony. Another strong build can be the RF Inquisitor. I've tried it during the December events and it was very very strong. It didn't get touched. He got a slight buff, so it should be good this league as well. Basically, since uh, in this league we didn't get that many nerfs, all the league starters that were strong in the 3.16 are still strong in 3.17. So if you have your favorite league starter you played last league and you want to play it this league as well, feel free to go for it. If you find a video guide for a 3.16 league started, which is very strong, and you don't see a 3.17 update, 
don't worry, you can go with the 3.16 build guide. One last thing, they buffed the self-casting, be careful with that because uh, on paper the spells look amazing, tons of damage, but uh, on reality the playstyle of self-casting is pretty clunky, is uh, amazing at least starter, but uh, you will probably not be able to clear the endgame content until you invest uh, a lot of money. Basically, the self cast builds uh, for the end game are uh, almost all uh, crit based and with uh, high damage. So high you can almost one hit the bosses. When you can't one hit the bosses, you will be in trouble trying to cast while uh, dodging all the mechanics. So it will be pretty hard to scale the damage. If your aim is to have a league starter to make a few cows, a few exalt to make another build to do the end game, pretty fine. Regarding the bow buffs, is the same. The bow playstyle, as in a league starter scenario, is uh, pretty niche. Uh, you will be dying a lot, so prepare yourself. Even with those buffs, uh, I think uh, the bow build is still something mid to late league. If you league start with a bow build, you either know very well what you are doing, or prepare yourself to die a lot, to have a low damage on bosses, and stuff like that. If you have trouble, you can jump on stream. I played bow build during all the last league, so I can give you some tips eventually. This league I will be streaming a lot, so if you have any question, if you want to chat a little bit, feel free to jump on twitch.tv slash crushido. Eventually, you can also ask questions by leaving a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want more content like this, and thank you very much for watching. Also, remember, stay safe, exile.